well, I've, as you've said, with the report coming out today, we're maxed at it because it's finally proven what we've been saying for 23 long years, that this has been a massive cover-up from day one. Do you feel Hopefully that... Hopefully now that the families will be able to... Please continue, sorry. No, hopefully now they've helped the families as well of the 96 because for years they've had to put up at all all the remarks and all the untruths and now finally they can get the truth out there for everybody to listen to and see. Do you feel that there is now sufficient evidence uh, to support an application for a second inquest uh, to overturn the, the verdict of accidental death that was delivered at the time? With a new inquest... A new inquest is definitely needed because of the fact that the first inquest was, was just so unjust. It was covered with all sorts of things that were wrong. And by getting a new inquest, we can get the 3.15 cut-off time overturned as well, which is massively important. Mr Hart, uh, you were involved in the rescue effort, weren't you? There's the, an extremely uh, well-known image of you trying to take one of the victims out on an advertising hoarding. One of the findings that we've uh, found out today was that the risks were known and that the tragedy was foreseeable. What's your reaction to that? Well, it, I mean, it beggars belief. We were, we, we were sent to a semi-final of a football match in a stadium that didn't even have a safety certificate. And yet people knew this before this match was staged, and yet they still went ahead and done it. You wouldn't think it was possible.